All right, let's get into our first discussion now. Senate President Bukola Saraki has raised an alarm over an alleged plot by the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, to implicate him in the sponsorship of some self-confessed killers arrested in Ilori, Kwara State. And Saraki informed his colleagues that some arrested cultists who had confessed to killing many people had been ordered by the police to implicate him and his protege, uh, Kwara State Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed, and that they have been moved to Abuja for the sinister plot. Now, in the meantime, the Inspector General of Police has uh, reacted to the accusation leveled against him by the Senate President. The police boss, through the force spokesman, Jima Moshud, confirmed the transfer of suspects linked to a string of killings in Kwara State to Abuja, but said it was not because of the Senate President. All right. Uh, Chris Wandu, of course, is still very much here with us in the studio. Uh, thanks for remaining. Thank you very much. So what do you make of this... Um, <laughs> allegations or, or revelations more or less from the senate president that uh, his there are plans to rope him in uh, to some you know or link him with some cultists uh, on the well, part of the ig uh, well I, I probably the senate president was just trying to be the gun to a larger extent as far as i'm concerned uh probably because of what has been having change of reactions in the past few weeks mm. between the uh, police authorities and the senate as a body, yeah. and some senators as mm -hmm. individuals. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that uh, Senator Dino Melaye is still battling mm -hmm. with the police, mm -hmm. with his, his allegations. Just as that, we are getting out of that. Senator Sandy was also accused of um, being behind um, some some issues and problem and killing or whatever in Kaduna State. He was invited. He he actually he, uh, appeared well, before, he appeared before them, them yes. and uh, was granted. Bail. So probably the Senate President felt that it is his turn. And um, so he needs to cry out. Uh, but personally, uh, I think that for whatever reason, the police has the right to investigate any crime, mm. uh, um, any type of crime, irrespective of whoever is involved and the rest of them. If there are allegations made by the suspect, then it's just for them to prove it, mm. OK? Uh, proving that also means that they have to give reasons where, how, all mm. this, and who sent them. If there are evidences, the evidence of, of uh, complicity on the part of any individual, irrespective of high, high or low, mm. the person is yes. that should be brought to before. So, for now, I still, uh, I still leave, leave it at the realm of um, uh, just uh, speculation. Speculation. Just for me. Now, the, but the, the issue there is the the, the alleged uh, alleged occultists. Yeah. They have made a statement in, yes. in Ilori already. Yeah. already. Yeah. It's written down. Yeah. It's recorded. They have the record yeah. of the the confessions they made. Yeah transferring them to Abuja, when they make another kind of confession, as the case may be. Will, will it be the same thing that they It's certainly, they, they is from, they from what the Senate Quara? President is saying, mm -hmm. it's possibly it's, it's certainly it's not going to be the same. Or something, yeah. But in all of this, if the Senate President certainly has nothing to do with it, yeah. why sh should he be bothered whether anybody is, 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 is accusing him of anything, anybody is calling his name if he knows there's nothing involved? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So if the Senate President had nothing to hide, I don't see any reason for him to be worried about. The Senate President is not just uh, any other person. He's the number three man in the country. Mm -hmm. So he's way up there. Um, the only angle also I'm looking at it from also is that, that not only the Senate President now, but the Governor of Kwara State. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The, mm -hmm. So if the, the Governor is coming to the fray, then is taking another it dimension as well as a different dimension. And according again, to the Senate you know, President so Taraki, it was uh, the governor of Kwara State, Ahmed, who called him the night before he made this um, that that's at that's the Senate. That's what I'm uh, saying. That's what I'm saying. That, you know, that, that both of them have been linked to this. But really, is this not, like we've already said, is this not even preemptive? Well, the, the IG has said it doesn't matter how highly placed anyone is. You, nobody should uh, try to... Um, you know, stand in the way of this investigation. We're going to do all that is required to be done to get to the uh, bottom of this. Yeah. But does it, this idea of moving, transferring um, suspects, whether in this case or in any other case, from, mm. uh, you know, uh, the or where the alleged crimes Localized. took place yeah. to another place, what, yeah. what, I mean, should yeah, that be at, happening at times, in the first place? Um, at times, the security of, uh, operatives use that to be able to nip certain things in the board because they feel that if left localized, mm. that in term, there could be some kind of interventions and, uh, you know, that can 
stop investigations and that kind of reason. Don't forget, this is not the first time. Remember as far back as during the Bola Ige um, uh, yeah. murder case, for you uh, and yes. the rest of them were yeah. moved from Ibadan, and the rest of them we had to move to Abuja and yes. the rest of them. There has also been so many other high profile cases and the rest of them. In fact, at the time, uh, advanced case, Remember when advance, advance, mm -hmm. advance mm -hmm. who was the like, kidnapper? Uh, there, yes. alleged at the point, kidnapper. it was alleged, alleged kidnapper. It mm -hmm. was said that he was going to be moved to Abuja also for investigation and the mm -hmm. rest of them. But what I just, my personal opinion on this is that if they have already written their statement and they make confessions, I believe the commission of police should, except he was the one that recommended, should have been allowed to see this through. Because I was watching one of the uh, I think the Attorney General of uh, Enquirer State or there about speaking last night and mm. was saying that in the past we have prosecuted so many of these people. Mm. In fact, some of them have been sentenced to death by Enquirer State High Court yes. here in Ilorin. In Ilorin. Mm. So I see no reason why this one should, these guys have confessed, according to them, they confessed to have killed about 11 people already. Okay? But the only slag there is that probably because they mentioned some names mm. of highly placed individuals mm. within Enquirer State government or the whatever and the rest of them. The Inspector General of Police just felt that, no, we need to move them. Don't forget, there is a possibility that the way things happen here, you could be sure that before tomorrow, some of these guys could just die. Well, we have to That this yeah. is where they've died in they, they, they've they just like that said, that oh, they're trying to escape mm -hmm. and they, or they kill themselves. Exactly. And so Th probably, That's the interference yeah, you were talking that's about. That's the interference I'm talking, ab yeah. I'm talking about mm -hmm. and the rest of them. But at the end of it, so whatever the investigation from the office of the IGP and the rest of them, they should, host, or they should be returned back to the right. to some, face the some, music. Some mm -hmm. analysts were talking, about, talking with yesterday about this. Uh, yesterday in the evening were saying that th this is a fallout. It's a political game between, mm -hmm. you know, the, the face-off between the IG of police and, and the National Assembly. Yeah. This is a continuation of the fallout. So how, how, how can we link that anyway? Yeah, um, the, the police have not come out clean on their own of recent. In fact, it's um, becoming worrisome. And uh, my problem is that, and institution, what we are, we've been trying to build, what we are doing, it, people are no longer building institutions. Mm. They're building meat around individuals. And if the IG continues to be on the front burner every time for the negative reason, it's trickled down the whole police force. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that is what they don't know. And that is what the, the PR department of the uh, Nigerian police is not even doing. They don't and know that. For every conversely, conversely, you could say the same thing too about the uh, National Assembly. Yeah. Um, Saraki has actually come out, the Senate president, yeah. that look, this goings on, yeah. these events are a threat to Nigeria's democracy. That all, that, that, and that. You, you begin to wonder how, how vulnerable, how, um, yeah, how vulnerable is Nigeria's democracy? How fragile is, is it? It is fragile because let's take the Senate for example. All of us cannot be in the Senate. All of us cannot be in the House of Representatives. Those are our elected representatives. So if they are us. They are us. They are a reflection it's of a reflection of Nigeria. Mm. So I don't take that. I won't take that away from them. They are the, a reflection of. They decide we we'll elected them to go and represent. One hundred and nine of them go mm. to the Senate and represent us. Mm. That is Nigeria. Yeah. 360 members of House of Representatives go and represent us. That is Nigeria. Mm. That is 100, instead of 190 million of us going Sorry. to Abuja mm. and sitting at the yeah. Hallow like, Chamber, like we say, citizens. go and speak for <laughs> us. Mm. It's like your secondary school days, mm. uh, the class prefect yes. kind of thing and the rest of them. We, we used to have a class oh, prefect. You, know, you remember? Oh, yeah, we had our class prefect. Mm. When there's, a, there's going to be a meeting of uh, prefect, our class prefect, we go and represent us. Mm -hmm. So whatever they say, we'll come back. After we consulting after with the us. Meeting, all the, <laughs> 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 I remember also when they say, oh, those that speak vernacular or whatever. Write their names. Write their names. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone who you don't like, you, just begged like him, you, just, you begged him something and he didn't give that you. That is why I'm Put going to live there. So, so that is <laughs> There's a time for bargaining stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So that is a reflection. So that happens hmm. even in a wider place. There's yeah. always been instances that the partisanship will come into play. Uh, there have also been instances that even the Senate or House of Rest represent. My only problem so far is that we're having more problem or challenges yes. of negativity coming from the Senate rather than the House of... It used to be the House of Representatives mm. in the past. It has always been... The lower chamber has always been seen mm. as the... A chaotic. The chaotic, mm. chaotic and trouble spots they and the rest of them. They seem to be more of mature. In, that is what I'm having, saying the, because of their number. of the leadership? I think it has to do with leadership probably. Mm. To a large extent, I think. It has to do with leadership. I think um, Dogara has been able to learn how to be able to manage 
the issues related with the uh, House of Representatives. And don't forget, Dogara seems to be much, much nearer, closer to Asorok. That in itself is, do you understand what I'm, that in itself is, a, but unlike the senior president, the pre senior president are trying to assert himself and also assert the Senate as an independent, quote unquote, uh, organ which should be left to do whatever they want to do and the rest of them. Not forgetting also the circumstances leading to his being the elected or selected or whatever. That is, is the same thing, that is the same thing with uh, Dogara. Do, don't exactly. forget it was Bajabi Amal, mm. um, Bajabi Amal that was supposed to be the yeah. Speaker of the House of Reps. Mm. But he has been able to manage that. So the, the shift, it has they shifted the focus from the House of Representatives so to the Senate. Senate. And that in itself so is have more controversial issues. Controversies upon from controversies from and Senate. from the Senate. That, has been, that is the problem now. But in, in the long run, because for every political activity that takes place, it is a precedence for something that is to come. Yes. Is it, now, going forward, we know we're approaching. Uh, the, is an election year, yeah. mm -hmm. as the case may be. Mm -hmm. what, what impact is this having on young people who are going into politics, young people who are aspiring, and even looking at, like she was talking about, a democracy that we're supposed to be spending time to build? Because mm -hmm. each of this activity, it is either build, putting an extra block on the building of our democracy or removing an extra oh, block from the building already. Yes, um, it's, a, it's a big challenge because ordinarily, um, some of us have been advocating that um, there's a young, uh, what's it now? Young not campaign, to, not, too not young, too young, to, to, young to, to run, to, to run mm. campaign. Mm. And then when you look at the leader, if you look at the present crop of leadership across the states and even in the National Assembly, mm -hmm. I would say to a large extent, we have a lot, a lot of young people starting from Kogi State, Governor, to most of the yeah, states. Average, average mm. age of most of the governors is just between 50 and a little bit towards 60, about 50, 40 to about 55, 60. So mm. we have a relatively young uh, 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 leadership spectrum for now. Then we also go to the, um, to the National Assembly to a large extent, yes, apart from the former governors. And look at mm. even at the, gov um, the senators, Akpabio, named them, mm. Enyinaya, Baribe, um, Ben Bruce, and the rest of them, these are relatively young, quote and unquote. Mm. And young, like and like and yes, relate, I say relate. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I think there is a shift to yeah. a large extent mm -hmm. uh, in terms of age and in terms of number. But is the question a, is, is, are they a, giving is a, a good That is what I'm saying. Whole, that is what I'm saying. Yeah. And are speaking, they really, speaking of that, are they really, let me even quickly put this yeah. in. Uh, unfortunately, the young people actually are the core of this. These cultists, these militants that are being used by politicians yes. are the young. Yeah. They are youth. Yeah. Many of them have been killed yeah. in the line of you know, carrying out these uh, nefarious activities mm -hmm. of theirs and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how does this really impact on this whole youth you know call or cry uh, for young people younger people to take over the reins of power well it's the same thing across board not only nigeria it's across it's all over the world mm. but uh, sincerely it's all over the world and uh, i just came back um, some few days back and um, even the united states is the same issue okay only that they are be able to manage theirs to a large extent the problem we have is here is that at the beginning of early election just as it's about to happen now most of these politicians recruit these youths mm -hmm. to do their bidding either in terms of killing, maining, and doing all sorts of things, and and harassing, and, harassing and the rest yeah. of them. They also arm them, okay? Mm -hmm. They arm these youths. But at the end of it all, after the election, they leave the youth, they just leave them with, with whatever they this thing, they forget and arrest them. Mm -hmm. Even the arms given to them are not retrieved from them. Yeah. And they start using those arms for other, for other okay. entities, and that is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as, yeah. as we round off now, yeah. the, the, there are, there's, there's so much concern as to the inter-institution relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, we've had before where institutions that are agencies under even one body, mm -hmm. the DSS and the EFCC had had issues before. All yeah. of them are under the presidency. Yeah. Now, the police is an institution. The National Assembly is an institution. One wonders why it is so difficult for these institutions to work together and work as institutions instead of working as individuals. Mm -hmm. They're talking about, let's look at the security um, agencies for one. Um, the police, the DSS, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force and the rest of them are supposed to be under, under the office of the National Security Advisor. Mm. Okay, even within those bodies, how coordinated and how cooperative are they? are they? 
it without is very allowing ego without to set in. Mm. Ego has always set in. Mm. And that is why we've not been achieving most of the results that we're supposed to achieve. You remember what happened when um, the army said they left a certain part of the country, they handed it over to the, to police, the police, and the police came back and said, no, there, was no, no we don't there wasn't anything. There wasn't anything, and the rest of them, then DS, don't forget the problem that we, DS has had with EFCC and the rest of them, um, the Magu issue and the rest of them. Within those, when, when you take your eyes off the ball, the tendency for mm. you to be able to, not to be able to see some of things happening yeah. within and outside mm. your own people that you're mm. supposed to be supervising mm. is always that. So I believe that the Office of the National Security Advisor should be able to be able to handle that effectively. Then, in the course of the frosty relationship between the executive, because the police is part of the executive, yeah. and the, the legislator, the government in power, it is the government of APC. And that, I think we should start, mm. we should start mm. putting that in place. It's not an opposition party. It's not, it's not a PDP mm. exactly. versus APC. Mm. I put, is there an APC versus APC problem? Quote and unquote. More because it the, seems like the strongest opposition to the APC from is, within is the within APC. Is, yes, exactly. it is. It is. Uh, let, let's, it very is. quickly, before we it wrap, is. there's this 10-man ten, ten committee that's been set up by uh, the Senate. Yeah. Of course, Saraki himself, the Senate president, mm. would be part of the 10-man committee mm. to have a sit-down with President Buhari to, uh, you know, uh, discuss these issues. Yeah. I, I totally believe that is necessary. Mm. I think um, at times the president into coming. I saw what he did two day, a few days ago when he decided to call the um, APC as parents mm -hmm. in the Kitty State, yeah. call everybody together, please let's sit down. That talk to have that, and that seems to have so, spent that. So, he can yeah. do that with the National Assembly and the IG and the rest of I personally think that what is happening between the Nigerian police and the Senate is just an ego team. Mm. It's an ego tree. Mm. I see no reason, irrespective of how, whatever the issues are, I see no reason why the, if the Senate invites right. the IG, have to. why it, it, it should All be right, Chris. before the Senate. Chris uh, Kainde Wandu, thank you so much for thank coming you very much on for the program. Thank you very uh, much. You are the CEO you of CKN News. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Let's go on a break, and when we come back, we'll be delving into other issues. Stay with us now.